Вечер в хату, everybody! It's Pan Roman! The winter is coming, so we need to prepare amazing snow shader that we're gonna do today. But before I wanna thank to my patrons, I really appreciate your support. That's why all tutorials, project files and some of my digital products are free for them. And if you want even more, check my art session market, where you can find amazing textures for everyday use, advanced tutorials for the project files and game-ready models that you can use immediately. So be my patron and get all the bonuses. And remember that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine that is very important now. And now let's jump into the Cinema 4D. We're gonna start from the simple sphere. You can see the settings here. Also we need to add the displacer. Here are the parameters. And on the shading we add the simple noise and you can see the parameters here. And for the final preparations we need to add the smoothing deformer with these settings. It's the beginning of a great thing. We're gonna work in path tracing mode and here are the parameters. Notice that specular and scatter must be quite high. So let's start from creation new universal material and immediately let's rename it as snow. Also don't forget to apply it on the sphere. Let's make albedo color black to see better what's going on. And set refraction to 1.35. Now let's follow to node tree and create displacement node. Also let's drag out Cinema 4D native noise. Link it to displacement and we need to tweak the settings a bit. But while I'm doing it you can see nothing changes. Why? It's because we need to get back to displacement and change the type to vertex displacement. Let's also up the height to 12 and set the mid level to 0.5. Solo this noise and let's set the type as blistered turbulence. Let's play with the octaves. The higher number you choose, the more details you get. Let's leave it on 15. Let's change the size to 280. Scroll lower and play with the high clip brightness and the contrast. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. I will stay with these numbers you can see on the screen. Let's unsolo this noise and to make it not look like Turn on the auto bump and the magic will happen. Let's put the gradient after noise. Let's change the black value to 10% and crank that value a little. You can see while I'm playing with it, we get bumpy and smooth islands. Here try to keep some smooth areas for bigger varieties. Now I will add extra light, just temporary to better see what's going on here. Let's continue by adding the composite texture node and add a new texture layer to it. Also link the composite texture to displacement node and gradient to the texture layer. After we need to add a new texture layer, duplicate gradient and noise, reset all parameters for both of them, choose noise type as POXO, right after it let's change the global scale to 400, scroll a little lower, change brightness to 26 and contrast to 50%, then let's switch to the gradient and change the black value to 10% and the white value to 90%. After we need to crank this a bit to get the results we need. The issue that you can notice now is that these parameters override the previous one. You can clearly see it if I will enable and disable the top layer. To fix that we need to switch the blend mode to mix average and let's change the opacity to 0.35. After it we need to add another texture layer and duplicate the previous noise once more. Here we need to reset all as previously and set the global scale really low like 5%. And don't forget to link it to the texture layer to see the results. Let's solo that noise, scroll down a bit and play with the contrast. I'll set it as 40%. Let's unsolo it and look at this polygonal mess. To fix it let's go to displacement, save the project first and let's up the subdivision level to 2. Be careful with it because your cinema may crash on the high numbers. But now you can notice that we fixed the problem. Let's move on. Let's save the tradition and duplicate the noise and reset all parameters. This time we need to link it to opacity and solo this noise. In the noise let's change the type to blister turbulence and play with the seed. After let's change octaves to 10 and global scale to 300. Then go lower and set brightness to minus 10 and contrast to 50%. Next step is duplicate the gradient and put it between noise and the opacity link. Let's set the black value to 10% and the white value to 75%. Then solve the gradient and play with the parameters of the gradient. To get even more clear picture let's unsolo the gradient, choose both previous texture layers and check off the enabled option. Now we can get back to the gradient and change the parameters. Now it's easier to see the dispersion area of the small crystals. Let's leave some free area without it. When it's done let's enable these two texture layers again. Then let's find the transmission and up this parameter all the way up. Then let's link the random walk to the medium channel. To albedo let's link the float texture and set it to one that represents pure white color. And to the radius let's link RGB spectrum and set it to red for a second. Let's render only the part of the image to see better what's going on. In the random walk you need to play with the density relying on the size of your object. In my case I will set it on 20. It's looking good with this light. Now when we're done with the density let's change this color to light blue. Blue. 
For the next step, let's zoom in a bit and set the render region where we can see only the rim of the object. Next step is to link the small crystals noise to the coating and add the gradient to this link. After we need to crank the values to get very contrasty look, then let's change the coating IR to 2 and the overall roughness to really low value is 0.0001. Save the project again and up the subdivision level of the displacement to 5. And now you can enjoy how beautiful our snow looks even on the close-ups. So that's it, we have a great looking snow you can use in your projects. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Write me in the comments and show me your snow. Subscribe the channel and ring the bell to not miss all new upcoming cool tutorials. Be my patron and get all the project files and also some of my digital products for free. Enjoy your week and remember, Sebude Ukraina!